I really do enjoy Valve games. They make some of the best stuff in this medium, but I've always found the development of their games pretty interesting. Portal, while being as short as a tech demo, has a lot of stuff surprisingly that didn't make it to the final cut. So why not talk about it? By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Where are we going? A few months before April 2005, the DigiPin Institute of Technology, Kim Swift, along with several other team members such as David Kreicher, Scott Clintworth, Garrett Rickey, and Chief Barnett would all come together and form nu Nuclear Monkey Software in a game called Never Backlog Drop. During this event, however, they've had a meeting with Valve because some of their employees at the DigiPen convention saw New Backlog Drop and were interested. During this interview, Gabe Newell, yes, that one, stopped the whole presentation near 15 minutes into their presentation and hide them all on the spot. And looking at New Buckler Drop for just a minute, it actually seems pretty similar, yet so different. Like sure, the science facility was once a dungeon and instead of a test subject you play as a princess, but overall, the core foundation of Portal is still there, that being solving puzzles. And so they went to make one of the greatest games of all time. What, you thought I was done there? No, look at the runtime, buddy. Who are you? Portal started development shortly after this interview, but since the Source Engine didn't have support for removing walls and replacing them with holes, most of the very early development was reworking the Source Engine for that purpose. When some chambers were actually completed, however, they took on a very Half-Life 2 appearance using models of Chexers from Chapter 9, which in final was called Nova Prospect. In fact, the puzzles were the first things to be finished, however the layouts of the chambers were not. It was more dark due to the Nova Prospect style, and this was actually the reason why the final game is linked in with Half-Life, because earlier in development, it seemed really similar. It seemed like quality, but it was just too similar to Half-Life. The Portal Gun also had this more gravity gun-like appearance. And it act I actually really like the look. It looks pretty cool. Portals have a different look. It's now this more fiery texture on both. The blues is also slightly lighter, and instead of an orange portal, it's a purple one. I actually really do like this, but I can kind of see why it was fucked. This whole art style would be dropped in something that I think looks far better than what we could have got. Come to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Once the change to the more clean and sleek aesthetic was made, no major layout changes were made, but however the art style and textures were. But the escape sequence changed a lot compared to what we were gonna get. What we were gonna get was a escape sequence that required Chell to collect batteries in Escape Aperture Science. Playtesters thought, what was the point of being here? Type question. Thus, GLaDOS was born, however the boss fight changed a lot within the last year of development. We would be here all day if we mentioned all of them, but let's just say one of them, which was the second to last one before they decided to go to the final boss fight. It was an endless bullet hell of turrets and a hybrid of a chase scene. This was cut due to play testers not really thinking it's a good idea because it was a major pace shift from the actual game. However, they eventually figured it out. Of course, the developers were in a really big crunch because a press conference was around the corner. What's inside the orange box? What once was just the EA Summer Showcase to show games off for that holiday, everyone was shocked when Valve appeared and got on stage and announced three games. Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, and, and a new game, Portal. Now Half-Life 2 Episode 2, we knew that was on Valve's to-do list, but TF2 was thought to be dead at the time, and Portal looked so unique nobody knew what to compare it to. Leading to E3 2007, most of the game was already done. I can only name like two changes off my head, which were the crosshair and the portals. The crosshair, we don't know why that was changed, but we do know why the portals were changed, which were apparently due to VRAM limitations on the Xbox 360, which I don't see why that could have been a problem, but I'm not a tech wizard, as good of one you think, so... Yeah. The game was just a surprise smash hit. And while it got criticism for being pretty short, it was overall pretty positive. But we're just getting started because there's a lot of cut content in the game's files. File deleted. 
first, let's just go over the differences between the original 2007 release in the Orange Box and the in today's Steam build, which mainly just consists of the Portal 2 ARG content not being in the game, like for example the extended ending and that one achievement you get for the radios. However, what's really cool is that the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of Portal still actually have this content missing, but however, if games like Team Fortress 2 never got updated in the orange box, I guess I can see why Portal doesn't get this content on those platforms. Next up is Dialogue. Now we don't know what these lines could be used for, but we could always speculate, so if you are going, if you're somehow watching this video, um, let, let me know what your thought could be, as in what they could have been used for. File deleted. Illegal operation. <laughs> Dispensing product. Canvassing. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Also, that last turret sound I played in that catalog of lines for GLaDOS and turrets was actually reused in Portal 2's teaser trailer. Whoa. Next up is textures and models. There's a leftover Team Fortress 2 blue briefcase texture, and my best guess of the reason why it's here, it's because the development of Portal and Team Fortress 2 kind of overlapped, so I'm assuming this was just placed here by accident. This Sparta sign has a model and texture cut from the game. I'd assume the reason why it was cut was due to it not really fitting anywhere other than the escape sequence. However, this was reused as a SFM prop, but it just doesn't have the texture, it's just a straight up sign with nothing on it. A few unused map textures ranging from walls to apparently plastic lights according to these game files. Lastly, there's an early portal gun texture in the game's files that is still present from the pre-Aperture era of development or Nova Prospect. There is no model, but there are some unused textures. Now, which type of the portal gun? I'm gonna assume it's the really small one and it looks like a pistol, but, um, yeah. I'm going to just say that is what this texture went with. Up next is art and sky boxes. So there's some end credit leftovers for the art that you would see during the credits in the game files. We have a radio, a light bulb, personality sphere, which is what we know today as the personality cores, and, of course, a companion cube. Aww. And now, y now, there aren't that many skyboxes, but we'll just go over the biggest one, which is the Zen Ending Skybox. Since Half-Life and Portal are in the same universe, we could assume that Chell would've went to Zen at its ending, instead of just waking up in the parking lot, which would've been really cool to see. Lastly, enabling cheats and then typing Impulse 101 will give you all of Half-Life 2's weapons. Although the crosshair, which is supposed to be an ammo indicator, is actually not working as intended. I'm assuming it's because it's actually broken, but they, they're all functional. They even have this physics capabilities. You made it to the end. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing for more Valve software and Respawn Entertainment gaming videos. Also, shout out to the guy that made the thumbnail. Here's his Twitter. You can go check him out. It'll also be in the description, so you don't have to Google for it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.